no matter how hard we try, we will never ever be able to completely separate our personal from our professional lives. Believe me, I tried for many, many years to do that and I failed miserably. When one side of your life is struggling, it's just a matter of time before it impacts the other. It's going to happen. Can you find a balance? It's harder than you think. There are landmines that are lurking everywhere. My goal in this next series is to help you identify and avoid those landmines that can adversely impact your life. I wrote about 24 of them in my best-selling book, Business and Personal Secrets for Avoiding Relationship Landmines. We're gonna talk about a few over the next couple of weeks. Now, whether we admit it or not, whether we want to admit it or not, we're all in the relationship business. Most of our success or failure is based upon the quality of our relationships. We all wanna have that fairy tale ending, right? We wanna have a successful career, the happily ever after personal life. You ever met anybody who doesn't want those two things? I haven't. Now, if it's everyone's goal, why is it so difficult to achieve? The life is full of landmines. Where are they? What are they? And how can you identify them before they blow up? We're gonna talk about a few of them. Today, we're gonna to focus on just one. We're gonna talk about one of the landmines is that we keep repeating the same poor choices. So why do we make the same mistake over and over again and follow a toxic, a toxic pattern of behavior on a regular basis? This goes to our mindset. And it's very often the unconscious biases that have been developed through our experiences in our environment over our life. Now, until we recognize this landmine and choose, the operative word there being choose, to address it and discover what these triggers are, the same toxic pattern is going to continue. Let me give you an example. When I was going through counseling, when I became a single parent with two young daughters, one of the counselors said to me, Frank, your issue is you have the white knight syndrome. Okay, so I said, what's that? And she told me the white knight syndrome is something where you are constantly drawn to the same toxic type of people. In this case, personal relationship, wife, girlfriend, etc." And so I said, well, explain what that means. And they said, well, Frank, you were the oldest of five children and your job was to be the protector and the, and the, uh, and the, the guardian of these five children. But you've carried that into your rest of your life and you continue to be attracted to people who in your mind think you think they need to be protected. And so this is what you want to do. It's toxic because at some point, both of you all grow each other and the relationship deteriorates. That's an example of repeating the same poor choice over and over again. Over the next few weeks, we'll touch on more of these landmines. Thanks for listening.